Well guys, it's been a while. We are currently in Panama City Beach, Florida. We've been on the road for like two days now. We actually stopped in Memphis to see a cousin that I've never met. Well, two of my cousins. I shouldn't say, I ha it's not that I never met them. I just was like five when I met them. So that was really cool to catch up with them. Then we drove down to Alabama to meet with my brother and stay with him for a night. And now we are in Florida, which was our intended destination. Just made some stops along the way. And Ken is getting a set up to camp for the night. We're at a campground because in Florida, what um, we've kind of looked up is that you're not allowed to sleep in your vehicle in Florida. So instead of worrying about a place to stay, we have decided to just pay for a spot. Because this is a vacation, I've been working a ton lately, so this is a low stress vacation. And here's Ken, just piling stuff into my bed area. Getting things ready. Hello. So in the morning, I'll probably vlog a little bit more tonight, but in the morning, I'll show you around. There's a little like light up Ferris wheel thing right outside this campground, which is kind of weird. There's also no fire pit. What kind of campground has no fire pit? See you in a bit. All right, fancy ramen for our Ken Cap and request. Right here. Hopefully it tastes good, because I've never made it. We'll see. We're having movie game night tonight. So we're getting things set up here because we have to, otherwise we can't play. Ready? I got nine because apparently you can't write fairy twice. That doesn't count. So that means I don't get to go again and it's Ken's turn. The goal is to guess the mystery word under these knobs. The sport spins, there's like 90 different words. See, there's a number over so here. So we picked 33, and there's a six letter word. And I've gotten numbers two and four. I got to peek at the letters, and what do you have? Three and six. No, it's going to the same ones. Four. Ken's really good at the bumblebees, but just spelling. Mm -hmm. Alphabet soup. Alphabet soup. Ken wants to tell you how it ended. Not well for you. No. So we've decided to play poker, a game she can beat me at. I can beat you at Hogger Mirror. He, did, he didn't want to play again because he knew I could beat him. She tried to guess the word. The word was deacon. And she guessed peace. I am close. <laughs> I didn't have enough letters. So we're to poker because he didn't want to play any more Hugger Mugger. And the doggies are getting treats. Yes. So we'll let you know how this goes. Now are you going to tell them what happened now? Why don't you show them what happened? And none. And that. And that. And that. And if you don't play poker, that means I won. I three bet a seven suits. She four bet jams queen jack, which I think is a good play. But he tried to talk me out into that it's and not. And a lot of diamonds came out. Diamond, 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 diamond. I have a diamond. He has no diamond, which means that I win. It's a lady's best friend. Yep. 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 Win. Yep. He is such a liar. He wishes he let me win. I wish. Yeah, that was pure, untampered. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to bed. And that means Ken's going to be up watching TV over here. But we will be up not bright and early. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Because I have a surprise. Oh.
There's a surprise. We'll both be surprised. You guys and me. See you in the morning. Good morning. We are up and showered and breakfast ate. That doesn't even make sense. What? I don't know. <laughs> We're up and we are showered and we ate breakfast. We had some pancakes today and now we are headed to the surprise that I don't know what we're doing. I just know it involves going in the ocean, so I have my swimsuit on, and Ken has his swimsuit on. Well, he did. What happened? I got it underneath. Oh, he has a swimsuit on. And the doggies are ready to go too. I don't know if they're able to go to what we're doing. Ken doesn't know either, but we will find out shortly. Yeah, I'm not sure if you saw the sign when I went by, if I got a good video of it, but we are swimming with dolphins, which I've always wanted to do. <laughs> That's my dolphin sound effect. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, it's not in the ocean, I think it's like an exhibit, but I'm still really, really pumped. Uh, it's a half hour swim. We just got a parking spot that is right across the street. Hopefully, it's like a shadier area, so the dogs hopefully won't be too hot. We're gonna turn the uh, fan on because they can't go with us. But we also can't take cameras in, which is very sad. But they take pictures, so we'll probably buy the pictures, and I will try to add that to this video. So I will see you after our dolphin experience. So I did an awful job vlogging yesterday after we were done. Um, seeing the dolphins, which was pretty cool. I was hoping it would be a little bit more interactive, but it was basically like each person got to do like four different tricks with the dolphin and you took pictures with it and its name is Sandy. And then you got to do a belly ride, which is, it comes up next to you and you kind of hold on to its fins and it's on its belly and it pulls you along. The whale was 550 pounds, which is way bigger than I envisioned dolphins to be. Um, so yeah, I would probably recommend doing it. It was pretty cool. I got a discount for being an ER nurse and working through the pandemic. Um, I would like to do a dolphin excursion that's a little bit more like free interactive. The dolphins are kind of just around. Um, so yeah, and then after that we walked around Pier... What's that place called that we went to say Pier Beach? Oh, Pier Park. We went to a place called Pier Park, which is in Panama City. And they had some nice shops, and there was a beach there, so we went to the beach. And kind of just walked around with the doggies. There is a small area on that beach, on Pier Park Beach, uh, that's called the Dog Beach. And it's just an area where you can bring your dogs, and there's tons of dogs. It was pretty cool. Uh, our doggies seemed to really like it. And then we decided to head out this morning, and we drove along 98 East which is like a coastal, more scenic drive. And we stopped at a place called Carabelle, Florida at the RV park there. And the beach is right across the street. And we were lucky enough to get a spot that's actually short, like a beach view. So we are having a view from our van that is the beach. So here's the spot we got. We have hookups here. They were right across from the beach. The entrance to the beach is actually right over here. This truck is kind of blocking it. So I haven't been over there yet. I was just at the pool. But maybe we'll go there later today. So they only have the spot available for tonight. So we will have to see what we're going to do tomorrow. We're leaving Carabelle now. We Went to the pool yesterday, went to the beach for a while, and today we just woke up and basically cleaned up the van, and we're headed out. We are going to miss our oceanfront parking spot, but we're headed to Pensacola, and some people here told us that the Pensacola RV park was actually really nice, and I think they're comparing it to this, so I'd say it must be nicer than this. Um, if you want to come stay at Carabel Beach Resort, they do, if you don't have an RV or a camper, they do have these little cottages that you can stay in that look pretty nice. I wonder if I can get a little shot of one on our way by. So we'll see you in Pensacola, Florida.
Good morning. We are leaving Pensacola from our wonderful site at Pensacola Beach Resort, RV Resort. Awesome site. We really, really liked that place and we're hoping to come back um, sometime in the near future. And, or maybe not near future, but at a time when we can book a spot for maybe like a week and just stay there and hang out, get a beach spot. Maybe some friends. First we need friends. First we need friends. You guys want to be our friends? All right, so we are headed to Jacksonville area to the other side of Florida because from here all the way north, it's going to be thunderstorms all day tomorrow. So we are chasing the sunshine. So we are headed east. Northeast. Northeast. Because also we have to go north to go home in a few days, so. Going to the Atlantic. Yes. We're leaving the Gulf and going to the Atlantic. And we don't really know exactly where we're going specifically, other than northeast, all the way. So we'll see you in a little while. Tell our viewers what you just did. I got the site for two days instead of one. So we accidentally booked the site for tomorrow, and instead of just coming tomorrow, I got also got it for tonight and tomorrow. So we're here for two days. And they, he said they weren't even. It was an accident that he was able to book it for tomorrow. Yeah, that site was not supposed to be open. They were something in their computer messed up. But I still got it. And so we're here, driving to our spot. Ooh, and a fire pit. We even got to have a fire all trip. We're gonna have a fire tonight in the fire pit that's at our spot. And it's only a 10 minute walk to the ocean. And the lake here too. So that's really cool. I'm very excited. And we got it for two nights, which is even cooler. Fire going. Who's ready? Kenny's hungry. Sarah's hungry too. Good. All right, let's go eat. About the fire. So not only do we have our fire spot, but we have our movie theater outside. Kevin's getting it set up. It's a little crooked, but that's all right. Hey, Vista. Hey, Vista. Good morning. We are in, well, near Jacksonville, Florida, in a park called Hannah Park at their campground. We got here last night, which I showed you a little bit. We had breakfast this morning. I got the dishes done. So our plan is to go on a hike and then maybe to the beach today. Let me show you around. Tyson just scratches me. Alright, let's do it. Ken's got a new look.
<laughs> I tell him I can't be seen with him like this. Costa Rica swing. Hey! <laughs> Taking all the leaves fall. You did it! My jungle man here. <laughs> Feel good? That happens when you drink Monster Energy. We are. Not sponsored. You said not sponsored. <laughs> Checking out the lake here at Hannah Park. On the search for alligators, but no such luck. You haven't found any alligators? Gator hunting. Empty handed. Yeah. Well, these people just told us that the gators, they have seen one over here. We just walked around along this little path, like 30 feet from most people, and this is the end of the trail, because there's a fence here, and we haven't seen any. I also don't know if I want to see one this up close in person. I kind of love it. I'm not really into that. What do you think that was? All these, like, broken metal pieces. A ba oh, it looks like a, no, a picnic table. Well, we went on our walk, and then we got lost, kind of. Not really lost, but we were on the other side of the campground. So we made our way around, probably did a, I don't know, an hour or so walk. And then we decided to go to the beach. We did that. We saw some dolphins out. I actually found them, which Ken tends to find like things like that better than I do. And I found it, so that made me super happy. He checked that out. I think it was dolphins because they had, like, water coming out like from their like blowhole as opposed to shark anyway we couldn't see them super close but it was cool that i spotted it out in the ocean and now because we're getting close to going home but our van kind of stinks from all our dirty laundry which is down here in that bag we are going to do some laundry take some showers and enjoy our campfire be since we have it for tonight too and see what else the night brings Got the soap. He's getting clothes. We got the towel. He's got his towel. There you go. We have laundry. What kind of thing is laundry? Coins. Oh, we need coins. Get the coins, please. Big man carrying the laundry. So I kind of sucked at vlogging. Um, we were in Jacksonville, and last night we watched another movie, so you already know what that setup looks like, and did some laundry, which is not that exciting except for the fact that nothing got dry, so my towel here, and Ken's towel, for showers, are... Not completely wet, but wet enough that if you took a shower and tried to dry off with it, it probably wouldn't do much. We also have a pile of clothes here that I tried to sit out because they were all kind of damp. Uh, yeah, so that sucks. It's basically because we're by the ocean constantly, so nothing is drying appropriately. But, we drove up to Myrtle Beach, and we a place called Ocean Lake, Ocean's Lake, uh... Family campground, 
and this place is not just a campground it has an outdoor pool an indoor pool that we were just at an arcade that we went to we got some really cool prizes we got some haribos here i got a ring top uh pixie stick hacky sack and we got fake tattoos we're gonna put on so that's pretty cool i like skip ball if you didn't know that fun fact about me and uh, we got some cool drone footage that I will insert here. weird jelly stuff. I think they're called like kelps or something. They're not jellyfish and they're not harmful, but they're really weird and gross to step on. So, I don't think they're here all the time. It depends on which way the wind is blowing when I looked it up on the internet, but still not that great. So, um, the beach was pretty wavy. It's not, and it's also cold here right now, so I wouldn't get in the ocean. But, we have to check out of here at 11, so I think the morning is going to consist of us packing up, eating breakfast, if we have time to make something substantial, and heading toward Raleigh, North Carolina. Ken keeps calling it Raleigh. I think it's pronounced Raleigh. And Ken has some work he's got to do there for his brother, and from there I don't really know what we're doing. I don't know if we're going to stay there or if we're going to just head up further, because I think we're only like two and a half hours away from Raleigh. But... Yeah, this campground is legit. They have a bunch of little houses that you can rent to. It's not just a campsite. So anyway, Ken went to shower. I'm going to try and clean up the van a little bit. And when he comes back, we're going to put on our fake tattoo. That's about as clean as it's getting for now. There's a whole lot I can really put away at the moment. So we stayed at this really cool spot in Virginia last night. It was Ken doing a little dance for you. Ken doing a little dance for you. Ken doing a little dance for you. <laughs> uh, we stayed in this free spot last night in a, or in, not West Virginia in Virginia. And it's actually on the Appalachian Trail. It's very cold here today, which is why we have the van on. So we went to sleep with no cars, and now there's a bunch of people here. One woke us up in the middle of the night at like 4 in the morning. They didn't mean to wake us up, I just heard them come in. Oh boy. Not what I expected to do while holding my camera. Okay. This is pretty cool. This is river here. Somebody built this bridge. The Appalachian Trail goes here. Oh, this is the trail. And then goes across the bridge. Oh, I see. So they come off over there. I think it's all these white dots on trees because I see them everywhere. Oh. And you come over here. You obviously can't go that way. Because that won't work. Oh yeah, here's the one with the right dot. Oh, this is a cool bridge. Try to walk on the outside of that. What do you mean? It's pretty late. Oh. Otherwise it gets wobbly. Sorry, the camera's wobbly, but guys, I'm walking like a duck. Penguin. How do you know all these random facts, Ken? Survival skills. <laughs> My wilderness man. Oh, 
and here's a little kid spot. Too bad our van can't get over here to camp, but it's cool for people who are hiking and want to stop for the night. Two white dots. Cool. Ken thinks he's cute because I'm trying to take a video. He's shaking the bridge. He's just trying to scare me. Good morning from Virginia, near the Appalachian Trail, where we stopped last night. But as for today, we have been in the van now for almost two weeks. We're ready to be home. We have some things we have to get done at home. So today, I think it's just going to be a long trek, seven hours from Virginia to Ohio. So we're home, and this is what happens. Everything comes out, right? Mm. Wash everything. <laughs> we just wash it all. And everything, not everything comes out. There's some things we live in the van, but it all mostly comes out. All the food, clothes, most toiletries, dog stuff. So, here it goes. just have a few clothes to wash. Not that many. Maybe like a load, two. That's it. We pack light. <laughs> okay, middle. Eh, it's more toward the top, but look how good. We gotta do some more over here. Oh, we're gonna do that this summer. Next stop. Right Montana. around here. Stay tuned.